I always like don't know how to like, like once I get going it's fine, but like it's always weird just being like, hi, welcome to the new vlog. <laughs> just, just start it like that, welcome. <laughs> welcome to hi guys, welcome to another vlog. So this one's going to be really fun. We have my friend Kelsey in town. <laughs> so basically over the next few days, we're going to just be exploring a lot of places in and around Portland. So I thought it'd be really fun to take you guys along. So today we are exploring Trillium Lake. It's literally one of the most beautiful spots about two hours away from where we live. And it's just like, you have the lake, you have the view of Mount Hood. It's like so beautiful. So that's what we're doing now. Any words for the vlog, gals? Um, we're so excited. I'm so excited to be here. Yay! It's Kelsey's first time visiting us since we moved here, so we are very excited. And we're kind of matching with our different colored Adidas hats. <laughs> I'm so impressed that he's doing this. I, don't know if I, was I know, I can't believe. Kelsey, I'm not kidding. Like, you would like do anything to avoid the water before. I had to carry him once because the water surrounded his sand part when I was on the beach. The tide was coming in <laughs> and he could, he froze. I had to lift him up and carry him. A burger, yum. I think we like we all got burgers. Got some jalapeno poppers, some fried pickles. Yeah. <laughs> so we just got back home. We had a great day, didn't we, guys? <laughs> Yay! Um, no, Trillium Lake is is so pretty. But I feel like the thing we're most excited about is Kato actually got into the water today. And Kato getting into the water was such a huge win because literally just like a year ago, I feel like he wouldn't even get near water. Like he was so terrified of it. So we were very surprised and excited when he was like running in it. It was so cute. Um, but I think I'm gonna end it here for today. We're just gonna have some wine, maybe watch a movie and then go to bed. But I will see you guys again tomorrow. Oh, hi guys. So today is a great day because we are at my favorite place in Oregon, which is the wineries. So we are actually at Stoller today, which is the winery that we are members at. And let me flip it around. Got Kelsey, hey. got Alex, <laughs> and look at our view. You can actually like see the mountain so well today too, which is so nice. So we're starting out with some rosé and then we're gonna move into some Pinot Noir. It's gonna be a great day. The weather is like absolutely freaking perfect today too which is so nice there's literally not a cloud yeah isn't one. like no clouds in the sky it's nice too because i feel like this month has been so hit or miss like it's been like kind of off and on rainy so it's nice that now it's like finally feeling like summer and like honestly just in time with kelsey coming too i'm like so happy that would have sucked if you would have come and like it would have been like raining yeah cheers have you ever had a rosé slushie? Yes, a froze. We've made a froze at our house. Oh my god. I We had one when we went to Chicago and it's like, I drank so many of them. They're the best thing ever. Oh, like, by the pool. That's what, remember when we went to Nashville and I was like, do they have froze? They did, and, didn't they? No. <laughs> we were running train in Chicago on the bocce ball court. Yeah. We won like 10 bocce ball games. Yeah. Rachel is a pinch hitter. Yeah, you guys didn't know this about me, but bocce ball queen over here <laughs> something else she's really good at euchre remember when we just like we're really good at euchre oh, yeah one night? I, rachel 
You were like, she every acts like she doesn't know how to play. <laughs> every sin. I don't know how to play. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Don't Alex is like, her. that's not true. That's not true. <laughs> don't trust her. Also, I don't, have I showed the blog our nails yet? I don't think so. Kelsey and I unknowingly have matching nails. It's actually, it's not totally unknowingly. Well, it kind of is. Kelsey came here with the nails, okay? She came here with those press on nails and it just so happens that those were the ones. I didn't have them on yet. But those were the only ones that I had that I was planning on putting on. So now we have matching press on nails. I love the background. Being They're so background. cute. <laughs> I actually love them though. Match your outfit really well. Oh yeah, they do match my outfit. I am wearing a, I'll show you guys my outfit later, but I'm wearing a little blazer shorts combo. But it's nice, the blazer's really light. That's what I think. It's like yeah. super light, so it's like nice for summer. Got a charcuterie board. Yum. I like the soft cheeses, so I'll probably feel like I'll like this. Oh, the olives look so good too. All right. You guys are already done. I'm like falling behind on my drink. Yeah, I finished my drink and like, I've had like four waters already. <laughs> it is really hot. Hello again. <laughs> so guys, okay. we have had We've had quite a day, honestly. We decided today we were gonna go check out some waterfalls. And unfortunately, all of like the big main ones are completely closed down. Like you can't go see them right now because of COVID. So we were like, all right, that's okay. We're gonna go just see some other ones that are still really cool, but maybe not like as touristy. So we found one that was about an hour away, which is, I would say actually not that bad. And, um, <laughs> had it in Google Maps, got literally all the way there, and then realized that it was actually wrong. And then when we found like the actual right location, it was like two hours away from where we were. So that was a big, a big L for the day. But after that, we ended up finding a different waterfall that was like another hour away from where we were and it actually ended up being really awesome it was like really pretty i'm gonna insert some of that footage now excited because we're getting to do some new stuff that Alex and I haven't done before. So yeah, it should be really fun. Good morning. I feel like every time we check in, we're just literally in the car, but off for another adventure today. So today we're actually doing a bit of a coast day. So right now we are heading to the sea lion caves, which I think the sign said it's the biggest sea lion cave in America. In America. So largest sea cave. Pretty cool. I've actually been wanting to go see that since we moved here, but it's a couple hours away from where we live, so I'm really excited that we're getting to do that today. And then I think we're just gonna drive up the coast. We're gonna go see, I keep forgetting what's it called. Thor as well. Thor as well. All right, y'all. In the elevator. Woo -woo. On our yeah. way to see the sea lions. By the way, it turns out it's the biggest sea cave in the world. Not just in America. At least that's what their signs say. <laughs> <laughs> We haven't quite looked into it, but that is what the signs say. Like <laughs> All right, here we go. The big reveal. Oh wow, it is stinky. <laughs> it is stinky.
come over to the other part. Now we got all those sea lions down there. That is so pretty over there. Be out here and it's like Oh, we understand. You can do it. <laughs> oh my god, he's so close. Go, 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 go. Oh. This is it, buddy. Ride it. Ride the wave. Go. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. I just want to see one get on. I know, me off. too. Guys, we just watched for so long trying to see some of these sea lions get up on the rocks. Not one was they successful. Not one. Could not make it. I don't know how they do it, honestly. It's, it's a hard life for them, you know? The waves are crazy. They just, they can't get up there. We're getting thrown into the rocks. <laughs> it's a tough life for a sea lion. <laughs> Honey? Did you know? <laughs> Sea lions live, on average, 20 years and can weigh up to 700 pounds. 700? 700. Oh man, that was crazy. I literally can't believe not one made it up. Made it up there. Nature. All right, next stop. We are at Thor's Well. Stop raining. Very thankful for. Before my uh, brand new shoes get dirty, I want to show you them. <laughs> May they stay this bright forever. Never match and hatch again. <laughs> this is so cool. Wow. This is past my level of athleticism. <laughs> Just walking on these surfaces. Okay, that wasn't that bad actually. Guys, this is so cool, but I want to show you what like the floor looks like. There's literally just shells everywhere. It's so cool. Look. On our, I think our last stop of the day now in the Lincoln City. We were gonna try and make it up to Cannon Beach too, but didn't have 
and quite enough time, but that's okay because we'll come next time. Kelsey's here. <laughs> Ugh. So pretty. I know. Not like having a house. Oh my god, yeah, living in one of those houses would be amazing. Who's that? Honestly, the fanning pack is coming so clutch this trip. I really don't regret that purchase. I had a, like I spoke about me, it was a good chance for Christmas coming, but it all got started Yeah. Honestly, I wanted a fanning pack. The water's so cold. Oh my god. Oh my god, the water is so cold. Would you like me running at the camera? Yeah, that was funny. There was a, there's a TikTok that I like that they do that. He, the husband runs at the camera and then bolts right and then has to run into the ocean as fast as he can until he falls. <laughs> Dude, you showed me that. Here we go. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. It ah! <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. We are back home now, but hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure to subscribe if you are not subscribed already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.